Hello, you teach Chester Boy with another Dome Bros review. And today, take a look at the second entry of the Ultra Change series, as I, as I like to call them, or the second entry in the Change Heroes line, the Tokuger Altar. So this is the first, um, well, the second, in, this is actually the, an auxiliary mecha, well, mini mecha, I should say, that can only can be combined with Dome Omatar Altar, whether it's the Change Heroes version or the mini plot version. So, now this altar comes in two pieces. Well, it's I just say the altar itself. We got the red rash support and this box car and this kind of a box car bit thing. So yeah, and of course it does come with a, an, av an avatar gear. This is the Tokuger av altar avatar gear. So you can see it's basically done in nice holographic um, sticker with some rainbow lines around it. And of course we'll take a look at that when we get. When we get to the dome blaster, so yep. Um, <clears throat> so so well, let's take a look at the red Russia itself. So you can see that the red Russia, um, you can see it's basically it's almost similar to the one that came with the DX Tokyo Changer, but with some new details. For starters, we got the Dome Brothers logo on the sides, and even on the front right there. So yep. Um, and of course, it does have a hitch, and of course, there's a peach symbol there, which we'll get to that when we get to the combination between this and Domo Batar Altar. So, yeah. So, there's the, the hook. Um, <clears throat> and of course, it does have a cow catcher right there. So, yeah. And so, we've got this quote unquote train car, which has some caution drives on it, and we've got some lights on them on the side. <clears throat> So basically, look like pairs. They look like pairs of um, railroad crossing gates. So, yeah. And of course, they do connect, but they're actually they're it's a loose connection. So and you only yeah, if you turn too much, it, it'll detach. So, yeah. Um. So let's just get you know, we're gonna get the Tokyo Ultra Gear out of the way first. All right, let's try the gear out with the Dome Blaster. So here it says, Don Tokyo Momotaro. So, there you go. And of course, you pull the trailer again. You get some train noises. So, of course, if you hold the trigger, you just get the big, you just get the generic rapid firing sound. Without, just without, you know, it's basically just without the gear inside. And of course, here's the finisher. So there you go. Alright, let's combine the Tokyo Altar with Domo Matar Altar. So for starters, we're gonna blend about the side. Remove the sword, because you don't need it. All you do is unplug the arms and sit to the set them to the side. Walt the legs and turn them around all the way to the back like this. Now, you take the red rush a bit, you're gonna remove the front, separate these. And you're gonna push these black pieces out. And with that, it reveals some pegs and also reveals some new detailing. Which is again, very nice touch from Bandai. And this is we're gonna plug underneath where the, sh the thighs are. So, something like that. And plug this one under like that. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and put the front of the Tokyo Altar and put this onto it. Onto the front like that. And next, we're gonna take this box car and we're gonna separate it. And we're gonna lift this, actually no, okay. We're gonna turn it upside down with the wheel facing up and lift this up. And this is gonna plug onto, onto this side, come to the other one, and do the one with the, with the wheel facing down and flip this up. Just like that. Now, if you want to, you can plug the Tokyo Ultra Gear onto the back like this to complete the look. If you want to. 
Because even on the box, it didn't just say you have to put it back there, but um, I think you have to put it there just you know, for complete for completion's sake. So, yeah. So, there you have Don Toki Momotar Altar. And, yes, a lot of people have the same opinion as mine. This does look rather silly. It's basically a tank, but with it's basically it's a claw tank, we could say. Um, and this was used in episode three. Where basically, he's trying to he tried to um, try to put a hole into someone's tire. Um, of course, you know, and these were CG, by the way. This whole form of CG, especially the Domo Metal Altar. Um, he basically said like snip, snip, and like he cut a hole in the tire on someone's on someone's car. Um, again, it was in episode three. Of the show, so yeah. But at the very least, it does roll very nicely, I'll say. Um, but again, it, it looks really stupid and silly. But hopefully, the Geoja Altar, which is coming out next after this one in the line, will look better. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, so yeah. Now, I've seen pictures on Twitter making their own version of Domo Batar Altar. Um, so, which I will show off right now. So, here's a combination I found on Twitter that actually looks a bit better than the than the official form. Yeah, again, it's just a silly, but it's not a stupid tank. So, just gets you get whole claw arms. Of course, there's his um, there's Domo Batar's um normal arms, and they're the two they're the two um Red Russia halves. And of course, there is the of course there, it does have a back. It's pretty back heavy, but and there's the Tokyo Ultra on the back, Ultra Gear, I'd say. Nope, there's no place to store the sword anywhere, so that's it. So overall, just like just like the Domo Matara Ultra figure, this set is highly recommended if you own the Change Heroes Domo Matara Ultra or the mini plug version of that mentioned figure. And yes, I said that because the mini plug. The Meeple versions of these altars and the Change Heroes versions of the ones that you're seeing right now are going to be cross-compatible with one another. That's right. They are going to be cross-compatible. So, yeah. Which is actually pretty, which is actually pretty cool. Because there's going to be a, there's actually two confirmed um, altars that are going to be Mini Plug exclusive. And they're set to come out in May. That would be the Lupin Ranger altar and the Pat Ranger altar. Um... And the change here, and now the change heroes fig. Now the, the only, well, the only change heroes figure or altar coming in May, along which Veggie is going to get a mini pull release as well. That would be the reused soldier altar. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's all. That, that's that actually be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, now. And no, this is the only way you have to get the D you have to get the DX quality of the Tokyo Ultra gear. Unless there's gonna be a Gash Upon or K toy release of this thing in the future. We'll have to wait and see. Um but as but as of now, this is the only way you have to get this. So yeah. Now, of course, the next figure in the line is gonna be this, which they did show this on the back of the box. Whether you own the two, I think if you own the two pack box here, which I'm showing right now, or you own the Tokyo Ultra box, um, it, it, in this fact shows the third entry, which is the Juoger Ultra. Basically, it's Domo Matara with a, with a pair of wings. So yeah, which once we get our hands, once I get my hands on that, which is supposed to come out late this month, I'll see what my thoughts are on it. So we'll wait and see. Um, so yeah. Now my next review, um, it's gonna be another Dawn Brothers review. I don't know if it's gonna be the Dombra Buckle or the Zonglass Sword. Um I've yet to get the I've yet to get the Zonglass Sword because that thing is that because that's that toy is actually is actually interacted with the Dome Blaster. So yeah. Or it could or, or I could wait later for the Juoger altar. I mean, I don't know. It could be the, it's gonna be one of three things. The Don't Bra Buckle, the Zonglass Sword, or the Ju Oger Altar. So, for a change here, from the Change Heroes line. So, that's all I got to say about this. So, thank you for watching. Like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter Twilight Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I'll catch you next time.